guys, or well, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are playing another Napoleon Total War battle, online battle, and today is a glorious battle between me and my good friend Carl von Clauschwitz, and as you all know, Carl is a very, very good player, so this is going to be a very hard battle for me, but it's pretty tight in the end. So let's go over the army compositions as our cavalry decides to uh, charge forward. And of course, we'll start with the French side, which is me. I have two units of the six pounder howitzers. I have five units of the wonderful chasseur à cheval. I have one unit of the sixth regiment d'infanterie légère, the um, sort of better light regiment. And I have three units of the chasseur, the standard chasseur. Four units of the Swiss foot. Look at them in their glorious uniforms. Um, one unit of the 18th Infantry of the Brave, so Brave Regiment of Infantry over here, and two of the glorious Young Guard. Now, if we look at what Carl has over here, he has two of the standard Dragoons, Heavy Cavalry, and one of the Ulans, some great uh, Javelin Cav there. It's all quite blobby, so it's quite hard to see. But he does have two units of Russian Jaegers, as well as one of the 17th Jaegers mixed in amongst these guys. I'm sure it's the guys with the caps rather than the helmets. Um, on top of that, he has one of the Moscow Musketeers. He has three normal standard Musketeers in this mess somewhere down here. And he has three... Of the lifeguard foot very very elite force and one Semenovsky lifeguard if we can find them somewhere in here unless they're left at the back there they are Semenovsky lifeguard very very decent so very elite army altogether including two experimental howitzers which are a pretty elite force and as you can see I'm sending my troops around I wanted to bring some troops down this way and around this way so we've got our cav up there, ready to go. So let's put it on play and see what happens, guys. But it is a great battle once again. So the cav are just kind of trying to contest this area at the minute. See what they can do. Uh, while we bring the rest of the units up. Of course, got our howitzers ready, trying to get in position. But as you can see, he spots my troops down here. Bringing his Ulans down to try and combat them. But as you can see, I've got slightly better at my micro. And I did manage to get those chasseurs out. They were no longer in the firing line. And with that, we sent two of our chasseurs à cheval down there to try and take some pot shots. But as you're going to see, they're kind of shielded by this hill. And that's the thing with this map. Although, you know, you're contesting this hill the whole time. It's quite difficult to really get uh, any good shots off in a lot of places. And here come the Dragoons. Fighting for Russia versus France. Don't know why the Russians are all the way down in Spain. But what can you do? And as you can see a large cavalry battle is about to ensue. Look at them go. Can't even tell between them really. The Dragoons have the helmets. The Chasseurs have the... Uh, I don't even know what you would call that. But I brought this Chasseur à cheval here. To try and take some pot shots. I also brought these guys forward to try and take some pot shots at these Jaegers. But as you can see, this is a bit of a bump as well. So as they're firing, they're just firing into a mound again. Rather than... Rather than something here. And... It's a bit annoying that they create the map that way. But then again, it allows you to assault through this gap easier than you maybe would have in the past. <clears throat> but as you can see, initially we do win that cavalry engagement. And we, redrew, uh, we bring those cav back out. But unfortunately, due to some other circumstances, they may not see as much action as you would expect at this point in the game. And must rest as you can see, we're bringing all our troops forward. He's bringing his Jaegers forward. I brought two of my chasseurs here to fire into them. Firing through the trees there. They can't even see where they're firing. Just hoping to hit something. But it was a big blob of troops. So, 
There were those Ulans. They routed very, very early, you can see. 47 out of 60. Because they have very low morale. But they are going to come back, of course. Here come the French Swiss troops marching up the mountainside. Fantastic. Looking excellent. And we're kind of both just probing each other at this point. Seeing what we need to do. As you can see, he's bringing his dragoons around. And those Ulans have, in fact, come straight back from routing. So we didn't, we won that initial engagement, but we didn't really get rid of them. And as you can see, these two lifeguard of foot are going to be facing off against my Swiss lines. As the, look at these experimental howitzers. But they actually did a lot of damage. I don't rate experimental howitzers at all. But on a map like this, where a lot of troops are concentrated in a small area, they did excellent. I'm not going to lie. They did a lot better than what I thought anyway. So I tried to bring my cab up behind this rock so that they wouldn't uh, have any problems. But it, was a, mm, it wasn't the greatest of tactics. And we do send two cavalry down here because I can see he's trying to bring his dragoons around to destroy this six inch howitzer. And uh, is the other howitzer in place? It is. And ready to fire. Ready to go. We have the young guard up here ready in, in reserve. As the experimental howitzer goes off once again. And as you can see it does do damage. Especially against cavalry. Down here he's bringing his dragoons. But we charge them. To try and stop them from getting up. At these howitzers. Because these howitzers were important on this map. Definitely. As you can see the howitzers firing at the Semenovsky lifeguard. But here comes his Jaegers. Ready to, ready to fire into my horses. But I was bringing my chasseurs forward. To try and take some pot shots at those boys. And the Dragoons are kind of getting beaten. Because there's two units of chasseurs here. But the Dragoons are good in melee. That's the one thing. And as you can see, some of these shots doing some real damage over here. And the Chasseurs eventually manage to get some decent shots off into those Jaegers. And we bring the Swiss foot up to try and do some damage as well. But they're not going to be able to do some damage just yet. Oh, wait, they can. He's brought his troops just far enough forward. But as you know, the Lifeguard are very, very good troops. They are going to struggle against those Lifeguards. And as you can see... This chasseur is already running. I've got two units of chasseurs running away because of his howitzer, which was very surprising. Well, let's look at this, boys. Oh, look at that shot. Fantastic. Fantastic shooting there. Oh, another great shot. Oh, look at the guys go flying. Fantastic. Battling on the Spanish hillside. And our Swiss foot are doing relatively well. Even though you can see that he has lifeguard. And I wanted to bring my chasseurs around. Try and, you know, probe this side. Maybe shoot into them if they could. That's one of my own shots going astray. Shooting my own troops. Bringing these regiments forward to try and shoot through the trees. Even though they can't see. Can't see anything. Um, even just shooting into them. Look how close the lines got at this point. Literally face-to-face -face boys firing at each other. Our men are running, sir. But he is just going to outpower me here with his uh, chasseurs that he's got in front. So he's got these three units of chasseurs with his regiment behind and the lifeguard, which is a very, very decent unit. And as you can see, some of my chasseurs are starting to rout. Hopefully, my howitzer can make up for it and do some decent damage. But it is just a straight face-off at the minute, boys. Straight face-off between the Swiss foot and the Russian Musketeers. And on this flank, the Swiss foot and the Lifeguard. As you can see, this Swiss foot has already ran. So we have to get that next Swiss foot up there and ready to go as soon as we can. These Chasseurs are just firing into the side of this Lifeguard. But as you can see, he's marching forward with this Lifeguard. And I knew I couldn't let him break through on that right hand side otherwise my whole flank would fold so we needed to get this swiss foot forward as quick as we can and try and do some damage against this lifeguard but as you can see this life these lifeguards are incredibly strong units guys like so good a lot better than the uh, swiss foot so they are kind of outmatched here but they've got to do what they can for france 
They've got to do what Help they can for France, guys. As you can see, he brings his Moscow Musketeers forward out here to try and shoot me. So I'm going to try and shoot him back through the trees with the chasseurs. But look at that. That that thing even shot my own troops because the troops are so close together. Oh, look at this. This line battle going on. Glorious. Look at the sun in the background. What a fantastic shot. Come on, boys. Fire away. Into the lifeguard, my boys. Look at them. They are not taking that many losses. You can see this Swiss foot already down to um, less than half. So I've really had to do something about that. Um, so at this point, we brought the young guard up on this flank. I probably should have pushed them round and down. But we decided to bring them onto this flank, try and get some pot shots away. Because this musketeer wasn't, in fact... Um, targeting. But as you can see, the quick line coming out with the experimental howitzer. Not seen that for a while. Uh, which was pretty, uh, actually quite a decent uh, decent tactic. It took down a lot of my general staff. And as you can see, the lifeguard foot coming right in. Up close and personal with the Swiss foot once again. Firing into them. And we are at this point getting flanked. And I thought that might be it all over. Even though these uh, two musketeers are here. We brought this chasseur a cheval to try and save the situation because I knew it was a pretty dangerous one at this point. Um, even though some of these guys are coming back. You can see the howitzer shots going off in the background. But we were going to attack this lifeguard foot, but we see it forming square just in time. So time to bring the chasseurs into the back of these lifeguards because they have been an absolute bane of my existence right now. They have been savaging me. Um... And I'm surprised this young guard is not... Why aren't they shooting? Ah, oh, it's because they're shooting down there. See, they should have been shooting this unit up here, which they're starting to shoot now. But as you can see, this lifeguard gets a... We get a good charge into the back, but it does seem like they could create square. And we get to kill their general. Where was that? Oh, their general. He charged his general in to try and save... Uh, that lifeguard, but we do manage to kill the general, which at this point I thought, <clears throat> damn, we could actually maybe win this. And with these guys routing, it was time to try and maybe slightly push, even though this lifeguard is still strong and still doing really well. As you can see, these boys have come back from routing, so I really need to use them as best as I can. And are these guys going to get their canister shot off? With the sun in the background. Come on, boys. Get the canister shot going. Fire. Oof. They do get a couple of shots off. They don't manage to fully route this unit. Of course, it's a lifeguard, so it's very experienced. So we bring our general down to try and do some damage to them. But as you can see, we don't have much really left up here. These are uh, 18th Regiment of the Brave, proving that they are brave and charging through the enemy. Look at all these dead Russians here, charging through them and destroying them. And that was fantastic. And at this point, I could have gone for his cannons, but with these Moscow Musketeers coming back, we needed to try and flank this Russian line. Because we have nothing left. Although it's Young Guard, it's not really that powerful uh, when it's down to 70 it's not going to do that much damage. Um, so we needed to bring these guys back and do some real damage. And as you can see, even his... Uh, his uh, so he brings his Semenovsky lifeguard up. So he has a very elite force. Look at these boys. Absolutely beautiful uniforms. Fantastic. And we needed to bring this regiment of the brave around to try and flank these boys and capture them and kill them. Uh, but at this point... He still has a very elite force. So even though it looks like most of his troops are gone, this force is hugely elite. Look at these lifeguards. Lifeguards and Semenovsky uh, lifeguards. Very, very strong units. So even with all those troops routing, he has an extremely elite force now. And I had to bring these guys forward to try and take some shots at this lifeguard foot. It's thumbnail central on this video, isn't it? Jesus. You can pick so many of these. But look at these boys firing away. And that was a very decent volley. Something he will notice very soon. And uh, we had to try and fire into that Semenovsky lifeguard. Get them going. But as you can see, there's one thing 
that we seem to miss. And that was that Ulan that was down here that came back earlier. I completely missed it. And it was a really, really good shout until he, I saw it. I just caught it on the minimap probably about now. And I realized he was going after that howitzer. So I tried to get that howitzer to get on canister shot. Um, but as you can see, does a little bit of damage, but not enough to get those guys routing. And his howitzers are still going. So look at this, guys. They're kind of surrounded, but at the same point, they have very elite force. And you can see this is the right decision by him. Getting those Semenovsky lifeguard into my Swiss foot to try and destroy that morale and get them gone. Because these guys are beasts in melee, guys. Even with 95, our Swiss foot even has less than them. So we are not going to win that fight. Especially them charging downhill. And that is really going to really put an absolute punch on the morale of these boys. And as you can see, they decide... That they do not want to fight the glorious Semenovsky lifeguard in hand-to-hand -hand combat anymore. And with that, he brings his Ulans around the side and destroys that young guard. And I was too focused on this charge down here that I missed it again. So all we have left are the great Brave, the Regiment of the Brave, who have done extremely well this battle. Well done, boys. We have one last time to be brave, my friends. One last time to be brave. But yeah, I thought it was an excellent battle. You can see the fields of dead out here on the hillside. This was mainly where the battle was taken. Surprisingly, his experimental howitzers were actually decent. Um, they're not no like I don't normally rate them in a, in a, online, but uh, he wanted to bring them just for a bit of novelty factor. See what it see what it's like. Um, see what they're like, and they were actually pretty good. I've got to say, they were especially good at destroying my cav. Um, Come on, the Brave. The final charge through the trees at the lifeguard. And how many do you have? You have 96. These guys, not many. But of course, the Ulans come in as well and do their final lasting damage on the hillside of Spain. But what a fantastic battle. Really good fun. And it was nearly, nearly, nearly my first win against Carl uh, as an individual. Very nearly. Very close. Uh, but very nearly. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I did lose quite a considerable amount more. Uh, about 120 less kills. But let's look at the unit statistics. Who got the most? Those Swiss foot, 155. Very good. So maybe the Young Guard weren't used that effectively because 107. But you can see some of these units just didn't get enough kills. Like uh, these Chasseurs, like 47 for a Chasseur Regiment is not good. But yeah, he said uh, said to me afterwards that uh, one of his lifeguards, I'm assuming the one that got down to like 50 troops and routed down here, got 200 and something kills. So that was an absolute beast of a unit. An absolute beast. Very good. Very good result there. Um, but I think that's going to be it, guys. So please do hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Share this to friends. Whatever you can do to share this. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And hopefully, I'll see you again on the next video.